got so much tea. Subscribe right now. Girl, y'all ready for this? Girl, L.A. Clippers, Patrick, refused black, he called black girls as bull dogs, okay? When they asked why he chose to marry a Caucasian woman, all right? There you go. Now, you know you wrong for doing that. So, you calling your mother, your sister, your whole family bull dogs. And I wish people would leave people. If you see somebody in a, in a racial relationship, let, please let their ass be. Because I can't stand these remarks. And, I mean, you trying to persuade them. You shouldn't date that person. You should date a person of your color. If they ain't going to change their mind, they ain't. Just let, as long as you, whoever you do in the comment, you go and you get somebody the same race and, and you know, post it, love it, and just be blessed in your situation and try to make the best. When you get in these, you know, black on black, African American, black love relationships, be the best example you can be. I think that's the best thing, you know? Because so oftentimes through reality shows, social media, we see, I, Lord, we see so much F stuff out here with these black men doing black women dirty and just, it's just so much. So my thing is this, if you're for black love, black on black, get you in a black relationship and be good to that woman, Okay uplift that woman 24 7 and and allow that to show and allow that to influence others that's all i gotta say but let's go here okay um so it says true if i never made it to the nba i would have never met her while playing for toronto but why it matter love is love at the end of the day okay so an nba player why are y'all going back and forth with people in the comment section? Can y'all leave? You know what? I can't. I still haven't seen. I still see likes. They need to cut these likes off. Cut the comments off too. Okay? <laughs> anyway. But um, it's not though, bro. You grew up loving our women. Why wait till you get real money for your perspective? And even if you wasn't in the NBA, worked at Walmart in Toronto, you wouldn't stand a chance, bro. You just because another statistic. I bet she's the only one in her family history to date a black. Stay woke, my guy. Um, he replies back, and this is where it gets really nasty. It says, and so... I should settle for a bulldog. Why did he say that? And act like I'm happy with my life and preach. Keep it in your race to the world as if Dr. King didn't fight, die for equality, acceptance, all cultures, loving one another. And no hate, no thanks. That may be your life, but I don't want what I I don't want that for mine, for my color doesn't matter wake up now for me i don't care about interracial i think love love who you want to i don't care but you don't have to down african-american women i think that's the part that's really irritating you know i don't know this person you know i don't care about no nba player but um you know this was circling around so it made news so you know i had to make a gossip so listen I feel like America, you do realize we are in a country that is a melting pot. So basically, a melting pot, this country will always motivate and inspire and influence interracial relations. That's just what America is about. Um, so <laughs> comment, let us know what you guys think about this. Um, and hopefully, well, I, shit, uh, cut the comments off, period. Okay, that that's going to end it all. If the comments wasn't popping, I wouldn't have seen this comment. I wouldn't have got annoyed, and that's what it is. So anyway, I'm going to go through these comment sections because <laughs> we love to read. Because, I, I mean, the comments are interesting, but at the same time, they can be very hurtful. But uh, let's go through here, and let's check it out, all right?
Well, people, 